Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to go over the steps for creating a cumulative frequency table. A cumulative frequency table is a little bit different than a frequency table in that it keeps a running tab table or total. Excuse me. Also, a frequency table just organizes data into categories to show how frequently an event occurs. Okay, for a cumulative frequency table. Step one, determine your intervals. Four to seven different intervals is ideal. Step two, draw your cumulative frequency table. Step three, tally the data in each interval. And finally, step four, add the cumulative frequency to the previous row to of the previous row to the frequency of the current row. And I'll explain what that looks like in just a second. A word or two about intervals. Your intervals must be equal, non-overlapping, and able to contain all of the data points. What does this mean? If your data range is between 2 and 38, let's do this and not this. Let's do this 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. Notice there is no overlap. But look at this. We do not want to do this. Notice the overlap. We have 1 to 10. 1 to 10. So if you had 10, would you put it in this group or this group? Or 20, would you put it in this group or this group? Next, we have unequal. This goes up by 8. 1 to 8 goes up by 8, goes up by 8. But look at the, these intervals. We go up by 10, and then 5, and then 9, so they are unequal. And finally, this looks good, 1 to 10, no overlap. But notice it stops at 30, and our data goes up to 38. So be careful with your intervals. They must be equal, non-overlapping, and contain all of your data points. Now let's get to creating a cumulative data table. And our prompt reads, the list shows the average high temperatures for 20 cities on one March day. Make a cumulative frequency table of the data. So let's get started. Let's Next, take just a second and go over what is in a cumulative frequency data table. If you will notice first, I have the t a title of the table. In this particular case, we have March temperatures for 20 cities. I have a column for the intervals, and I have titled what each interval stands for, which is average temperature. I have a column for tallies, column for frequencies, and then your last column, for, which is titled cumulative frequencies. But those are kind of the basic ingredients that you need in your frequency so, table. Let's get started. Let me make sure this is all in range. Okay. Let's begin first by creating our intervals. The low is 2 and the high is 69. I have conveniently put this in descending order. If your numbers are not in descending order, you may want to do it. If not, you need to find the low and the high. I want to take make four intervals, so I'm going to round the 2 to 0 and I'm going to round the 69 to 80. And that just gives me a nice round number that I can divide by 4. Okay? And then 80 divided by 4 equals 20. I then create my intervals. And notice that there's not overlap. That they are equal. And that they are within range. Okay? So now I just create tallies. And I'm going to draw a line down through here. I left that out. Sorry. Okay? So now I go, notice I do a check and then a tally. And that just helps me not to leave a number out. 66, a check and a tally. 65, check and a tally. I then move to 51, so I need to move to this range. A check and a tally. Check and a tally. Check. I'll stop saying that. Okay. Now when I get to 41, I'm going to make the check. But instead of doing a tally mark, I'm going to do a tally mark, but it's going to be in this fashion. And that just tells me that there's five in that group. Okay. I then move to the next row. So I'm going to check 38, and it goes here. Check 32. Now, the easiest way to mess up a data table is to get lazy and to stop checking. Okay. So I get to 20, and I'm going to, instead of doing the tally, I'm going to do another one of these marks that tells you it's five. And then I'm already in the last interval. I'm going to do a check on 18, check on 12, check on 8, check on 8, check on 4. Notice I've drawn the line. And then we've got 2 and 2. 
if I would like. I, I know I have 7 plus um, I have 10 here, 17, 20, and I know I have 20 numbers here, so I've included all of them in my tallies. I then total my frequency. I have 7 here. How did I know that? I went 5, 6, 7. I know I have 5 because of this mark. I have 5 here and then 3 there. Now, in order to create the cumulative frequency, remember it says add the cumulative frequency of the previous row to the frequency of the current row. Okay, so I will begin here. Since there's not a previous, I will begin with 7. And now I add this previous row to the current, which is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. And then I add the previous to the current. 12 plus 5 is 17, and 17 plus 3 is equal to 20, okay? That's all we do. We have a nice table, and that is how you create a cumulative frequency data table. Thanks for watching. I also have a video of creating a frequency table. I'll leave a, leave a link. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.